message for Paul Wells from McLean's Magazine regarding Maxine Bernier supporters. FYI, we are not the stupidest people on Twitter. And you should be careful about throwing out those kinds of insults because all you have to do to get a sense of where you're going to be maybe a year and a bit from now is look back at the social justice warrior compilations that all laughed out loud about the prognostication that Donald Trump would be the next president of the United States. So who will be the most stupid person in the world of social media than Paul Wells? One more message I'm going to leave for you, which comes from Dr. Jordan Peterson's book, 12 Rules for Life. Here it is. There's one that you would do well to read, but I mean, you might just be a little too stupid to read it. It's quite lofty reading. And it's chapter title is Assume That the People That You Are Listening To might have something to say that you could actually benefit from listening to. And this sentence in particular applies to you. When someone opposes you, this is on page 247, it is very tempting to oversimplify, parody, or distort his or her position. This is a counterproductive game designed to both harm the dissenter and to unjustly raise your personal status. So I'm assuming that you figured the latter, this would raise your personal status in the eyes of all the Trump, Ford, Bernier, conservative haters, and good on you for trying to do that because you've now shown us your true colors. But how about trying to look for something substantive, something that has to deal with actual fact as opposed to your rather shallow, ill-informed position? And this is coming right on the heels of your having conducted a very weak interview with our shiny pony, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, where you not once asked him a tough follow-up question on his behaviors, including the Kokanee Grope incident, the killing of the Trans-Canada Pipeline, and other issues that deserved to be dissected, such as NAFTA, which may have a very grave effect on our economy if it doesn't go through in the next few weeks. So, Paul Wells, you might want to think before you label us all as Canadian deplorables, because look at where that got Hillary Clinton. <laughs>